Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for part 15 of my Let's Play Undertale Pacifist run. We just got done hanging out with Undyne and Papyrus of course bailed to make sure that we were good friends and now we are back to Hotland it looks like. So let's get back in here and see what awaits us in this lava filled world. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through here. Got a couple of black guards. What are they about? Sorry, Undyne like told us uh, there was totally a human in the area, so like us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. <laughs> Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Okay, and that guy just doesn't say anything. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Apparently, we have a laboratory, which I'm guessing is this right here. Noise. What do we got down this way? Oh. Guy looks kind of like the uh, boat keeper from Castlevania. Tra la la la, I am the river man. Or I am the river woman. It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure, why not? Where will we go today? Neither place. Or I guess I have to choose one. Waterfall. Then we're off. I guess off we go waterfall tra la 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 beware of the man who speaks in hands wait what the man who speaks in hands sounds kind of disturbing come again sometime tra la 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 all right we'll take you back care for a ride yes please Hotland, please. Thank you. Then we're off. All right, let's go. Get back to where we were going. Tra la la la, Timmy Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, so he tells you basically uh, secrets as you're floating around on the boat. All right, let's go. Come again sometime. Tra la la la. Alright, so I guess into the laboratory we shall go. Oh no. I'm being watched. That's no good. That is no good. It's too dark to see near the walls. The lights are all off in here. Oh snap. Sorry for the intrusion. Um. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't expect to show I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and Um Ha hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But but uh I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot, but, y you know, like a robotic TV star or something? Anyway, uh, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, an anti-human combat features? Well, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, uh... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, that's no good. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. I have a feeling we're going to immediately run into him. I'm gonna have to come up with a robot voice, aren't I? I guess so. Did you, uh, did you hear something? Don't know how you could mistake it. <laughs> oh 
Oh, it's getting closer. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! Oh jeez. To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand to our wonderful contestant! It's your time on The Price is Right! Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule! Answer correctly! Or you die! Oh jeez, not good. Metaton attacks. Um, check or cry. <laughs> uh, you're scaring me, Metaton. Screaming is against the rules! Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um... More questions? Right! Sounds like you get it! The quiz show continues. Uh, I don't want to fight. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Um... Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? I spent the sugar and spice joke earlier. I don't think it's snails. They are made of metal, so metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you! Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously departure train, station A and station B. Station A and station B are two... Yes, uh, it's, it's too much to read. It's too much to read. I guess I guessed correctly. Cool. Wonderful. I'm astounded. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Um, fifty-five. Completely and utterly wrong. Quiz show continues. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? It's a frogget. Boy, that's embarrassing! Huh? That's cheating. That's cheating. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, heck yeah. Great answer! I love it! The quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? No, no, no! Can't you read? Cheater. Spare. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Cutie Kissy Cutie, what is his favorite food? Oh, I know! In the fourth chapter, everyone knows she buys ice cream for all of her friends so that it's a stale flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it actually has a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me! I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to! Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Um... Well, it's definitely not me. I don't know. Correct! Dr. Alphys has a crush on... The Unknowable! You see, Alphys believes there is someone out there. Someone watching her. Someone she thinks is cute and interesting. Hello, theoretical person! Dr. Alphys likes you! Too bad you are not real! Ha 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 ha! Hey, hey, I've done research about this! There are alternate universes out there! Someday, maybe, I could meet them! You said the exact same thing about Mew Mew Kissy Cutie! But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt! Person, if you're out there, how about giving us a sign right now? And... can't even hear crickets. That settles it, doesn't it? Well, well, well! With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension! We can't go on like this! But... but... this was just the pilot episode! Next up, more drama! More romance! More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! <laughs> I'm gonna rock it out of there.
Well, uh, that was uh, certainly something. Yeah, it was certainly something. Wait, wait! <laughs> Let me give you my phone number! Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... W where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second, please. Uh, she... Upgrading my phone, apparently. Here, I, I upgraded it for you. You can do test texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee hee hee. A little awkward. I'm going to the bathroom. You do that. Can we get in here? The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Bummer. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Oh snap. Okay, what do we got up here? More lore? Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh, uh, on the contrary, my friends. That is our rich history of humes. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. <laughs> all these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book, it's a comic book, of course. Two scantily clad chefs are f flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh, you don't know about the great cl scantily clad chef wars of 1912? Oh man, it was a terrible time. It was a terrible time for cooks everywhere. All these cookbooks... They're not cookbooks. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic. A hideous android is running to school with a toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. What, you don't think robots can go to school? That's kind of... Whoa. I'm guessing that's uh, Kissy Kissy Cutie or whatever. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Weird looking pink goop. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. We got here. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. <laughs> there are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Well, okay then. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Right, so we now go further to the right, I'm guessing. Probably, probably. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm going to bring the episode to a close here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next installment.